I hope I don't have a squirrel nest in my garage. I heard something weird up there. I'm gonna do some building today and I wanted to bring you guys along. I thought you guys might enjoy this one. Um, quick, simple, easy project. I'm trying to improve the situation in a couple areas on our homestead. One being that I can probably count on more than both hands the number of times each summer I see Rachel come in from the garden like this with her shirt bundled up, completely filled with tomatoes, green beans, whatever she can fit in her shirt, she brings them in. It works, and she has a little wicker basket she uses too, but that thing's starting to get pretty weathered. I don't know how much longer it's gonna last. Once she gets the vegetables in the house, um, we don't have one of those fancy like vegetable washing stations. I've seen some people build some really, really nice ones, but they're big and I, I don't want gardening season to end and we have this big giant table thing and I have to try to figure out, okay, where are we gonna put this thing? Or every time I mow grass, I gotta move it and then move it back. So I came up with a solution on something portable to build and that's what we're gonna work on today. So you may have seen this little wagon in a couple of videos. Rachel used it when she was working on her green stalk vertical garden planters. Um, and quite a few other times. My parents gave me this when they closed their resale shop in town. They were just gonna toss it out. We said, heck yeah, we'll take it. We'll do something with it. And we literally did nothing with it other than use it. Um, I think three of the tires were flat. Um, it had this big hole that was kind of welded on here. Got that removed, I used my grinder and I cleaned this up over here and put some air in the tires, tighten up the bolt. It's a good, solid, sturdy cart now. So we could probably use some paint, but other than that, perfect. Not ideal for hauling vegetables from the garden back to the house. There's no sides on it. There's no, there's nothing to hold everything in place. So my thought was, well, I could build little walls on this thing and make it more of a functional cart, but then we can't really throw feed bags on there as easy or bags of compost or mulch or things like that. It's nice having the flat surface, but it needs more functionality to it. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna build a small wooden box, um, kind of like the picture, like a compost sifter that'll sit up a little bit high on this the bottom of it's going to be screen, so Rachel can basically set that box on here, go out to the garden, put all of her vegetables in there, wheel it back up to the house, spray everything off. Once it dries, we can pick that box up and take it in the house. So as much as possible lately, everything I've tried to build, I've tried to just use stuff that I already had, stuff that I have on hand without having to go to the store and get out in public. So these side pieces don't match this piece. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that. It's for, for what it is and what its purpose is, that's fine. And if it keeps me out of the store, good by me. Nice, and we just need some feet. Oh, see how she fits. Yeah, that's nice. I think my hands have just now healed from the last time I worked with chicken wire. I get so caught up. From all the little sharp nubs. Guess I gotta trim a little more. Yeah, I think it's just this edge right here, these little pieces sticking out. This looks a lot better.
because weight can definitely be an issue with this. I don't want to get this thing all filled with vegetables and then have the bottom fall out on it. So put some big heavy staples in it. I'm adding a little cross brace here and I may put some on the little corners right here just to help hold so it doesn't bow so much when it's filled with vegetables. That was a fun little project. I think it only took me maybe two hours to do the whole thing. Nothing complicated at all about it. Um, pure functionality was all I was going for. Can use it on the cart like I designed for transporting vegetables. You could use it like this on the ground, spray things off this way. You still use the cart the way it was designed. Throw bags of feed on there, no problem. And then this can just hang somewhere when you're not using it out of the way. We'll probably add some handles, like I said, that way when Rachel comes back from the garden, she sprays off her vegetables. We can each grab one end of this and transport it into the house. Happy with it.